Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I recorded this video and for whatever reason, the voice did not uh, decide that it wanted to stick on my video. So I'm going to do, I have to do a voiceover. And this is doing an ATC card uh, with a very easy background. And I'm about to show you my ATC cards and I will link at the end um, a couple of videos with the ATC cards so you can see the sizes and all that kind of stuff. So this is a very easy background. A lot of people write me and say that they they have a lot of issues uh, coming up with ideas for backgrounds on ATCs or their art journal. And um, this is just a great way to use your extra scrap papers and all, as you're gonna see, I'm using Mod Podge uh, Matte Medium. And I'm throwing it all over my ATC card. Very easy, very simple. I'm on my nonstick mat. Um, of course, if you don't have one, you know, use whatever you have. And I just have my scraps of paper here. And I'm going to do three different ATC card backgrounds very quickly with these papers. And they will be relatable, but they will be different. They will look different. And all I'm doing is just tearing and I'm gluing on to the ATC card to get a great background. And I'm going to take some more Mod Podge and I'm not going to keep that piece as uh, thick, you know, I'm going to throw some Mod Podge down and make it a little smaller. And that's what you're going to see very, very quickly. Very easy. And I'm just going to continue to glue them on. Now, if you do not have Mod Podge, of course, use your white school glue. And yes, you can even use your glue stick. Um, a lot of the Elmer's glue sticks are uh, archival because I know a lot of you worry about that. Um, just make sure you read to see that they're acid free because scrapbookers use them. But the white school glue is not archival. Uh, so just keep that in mind. I don't care. I've never had anything go bad or yellow or come apart. But I know some of you are concerned with that. So just use the proper, you know, glue to what you want. I love just getting people started using what you have. You don't always have to go out and buy the expensive stuff and you don't have to feel like you cannot create art because you don't have the quote unquote expensive stuff, right? So, you know, if you have double-sided tape, use it. It doesn't matter. It's about making art and having fun. And sometimes you only have 20 minutes, half hour to do art and you want to do something. And this, these are great to do. So you can see, I'm just taking some more of my Mod Podge mat and I'm just putting it on the outside of it on top so it uh adheres a little better i'm going in with my second card and just gonna go in and do it again now i'm using the bottom part you can see the white part i didn't rip off of the scrapbook paper these are papers that i had used in making a art journal um, i've been making art journals and having a blast doing it so these are just little pieces that i had to cut off because the papers were too big and instead of throwing them away, I, I'm going to use them for this. And you can use these in mixed media too on a canvas. You don't just have to uh, use them in this way. And as you can see, I'm going to do it in a different way. I'm going to do them corner to corner. And you don't have to have it, you know, totally covered or whatever, you know, you do it whatever way you want. But if you do it this way, it just gives it a different look. And I'm just picking up and ripping and doing my thing here, just getting some stuff on there to get the background. Uh, the whiteness, the, the white doesn't intimidate me. Um, and maybe it's because I've been doing it for so long and I am a mixed media artist. I just throw color down. I don't care. Um, but I do know that it does get intimidating for uh, a lot of you, especially if you're coming from a different art or craft, um, like quilting or knitting or crocheting or jewelry making, whatever you may do. Um, it can be intimidating. So don't be intimidated. Take, colored paper, rip it in different pieces, and just glue it on in a different sequence. And you can see, just doing it, doing it, doing it. I am all about just doing it. And you can see I have some white stick in there. What am I going to do? I'm going to take a little piece of another uh, piece of paper and put it on that little corner. And you can do, use, you know, if you only have two different colors, just do it and rip it in different size pieces and, you know, you get it, uh, the same kind of idea, you know, the same kind of feel. 
And I will do another video uh, this week using these three and doing three different ATCs on them. I just threw another coat of clear of the uh, Mod Podge mat on top. Now, listen, Mod Podge paper is delicious. I use that 99% um, of the time. However, my lazy butt did not feel like getting up and going and getting it off my other table. So I use my Mod Podge mat, which I use quite a bit as well. It's uh, up to you what you have, like I said. And I'm just picking this up. I'm gluing it to the table. Be careful when you're doing this because if you get... I'm showing you my nails because I'm like, oh, my nails are getting ruined. This is like a holographic that I'm so in love with. It's my daughter's. And I saw her put it on and I stole it because I love it. Um, I cut through my nail with a knife yesterday. So this nail is going to be called, falling off. Um, but be careful when your fingers are wet and you go to touch the paper when you're pushing it down because you will get very frustrated. It'll stick and lift up. So try to keep one hand clean and one hand kind of the, uh, you know, ooey gooey. And you can see I'm just pushing out some of that uh, glue that went underneath the uh, other papers. And now here's what I'm going to do. I'm taking my scissors and I'm cutting off all that extra paper. Now, because I'm cheap, uh, I like to call myself cheap and easy, I'm going to use those papers and you're going to see in the next card because they're big enough to use. Sometimes it gets ridiculous and they're little teeny papers and you can't use them. But these pieces I can, as you will see in a minute. And I'm just going to cut this other piece too. It's still wet, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I'm just slicing it and cutting it and cutting it. Real easy. And you can see, and that's it. Now let's start our next paper. Here comes our next ATC card. Now, like I said, I will put uh, links at the end of the video for you to check out more of what an artist trading card is or ATC card. Um, but they are always two and a half inches by three and a half inches. And they are, you know, you can use any kind of uh, scrapbook paper, any kind of base. And that's like I said, I talk about in other videos. Now I'm just going to take some of these. I'm going to throw some glue down on here. And there we go. Now, most of the paper that I did cut off has glue on it already, but I want to make sure it gets extra secure. And I'm just going to place these bad boys wherever I want. Now, listen, there's no harm in letting some of that white come from the bottom come through because we're going to put other paint and whatnot on it. So um, if you want some white to show through, as you will see as I continue this, um, please, you know, let it shine. It's yours. Do what you want to do. If you only want three pieces of paper on here, by all means, only put three pieces of paper. And I'm just sticking it everywhere. It's like a puzzle, you know, and think of it that way. Think of, you know, you just like, now that would be perfect like that, just with that white coming through. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm not, I'm going to keep going because more is more to me. You're lucky I didn't throw some glitter down on all that stuff. And I'm just, you know, not thinking too much. I'm just putting it on there. And that's that's when you get your best results, when you don't overthink it. I'm telling you what. Now I'm just going to do a little piece right there. I'm going to have to put a little glue there. There we go. And because this glue dries clear, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about over gluing or whatever. And so does your white school glue and all that kind of stuff. And so that's all I'm going to do on there. You can see I have some white uh, showing through. Now I will probably end up throwing those little pieces away, uh, because those are, you know, little, uh, little pieces, but you don't have to, you can even do another card. You can start, you can throw those on an art journal page and just start a background like that. That works out fantastic. And, uh, you know, when you're getting more bang for your buck because you're using all these pieces. Now I'm just cutting all the extra off. And like I said, you can stick those on another card or in an art journal to start, a mixed media background. Um, I am just going to throw those away right now. And if you don't have a non-stick mat, use wax paper, use parchment paper, use brown paper bag, use whatever you have. It doesn't matter. And I'm just putting it on there. Now look at how these are relatable. They're similar in the color scheme, but they are completely different, completely different. 
And the same goes for the third one. Now I'm going to lift the third one up in a second, but I have to dry it because it's still a little milky because of the glue. But I want to show you how they just all relate to each other. So if you're in a swap or you're trying to make a series, this is a fantastic way to do it because you do have the same color scheme, but they are completely different looking. And it's just a great way to start. A great way to start. And it's even abstract in a sense if you don't want to go any further than this. And maybe you want this for inspiration, your favorite colors. Um, do you know what I'm saying? So then you can just put it on your wall or in a book and it's your great inspiration. Um, the colors are gorgeous and, you know, they don't all have to go together. And this is so much fun. And like I said, I will be back doing a video uh, showing you, you know, what we're going to do with that, which they won't look anything like this when we're done. So... Please, if you enjoy my videos, please leave me a like and please subscribe. The subscribe button is down below. Please click that bell next to it. You can get notified when I upload, which is usually five to six times a week. Um, and share me everywhere. I appreciate it. Uh, it helps me know that you guys are enjoying my videos. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battles somebody else is fighting. I can't stress that enough, uh, especially in the world now that we have going on so many natural disasters and just such horrible things everywhere. And remember, we're talking about progress, not perfection. This is about playing and having fun and having no fear. We're just doing it. We're just doing it because we love to do art and you don't have to have all the expensive stuff. If you can have the expensive stuff, by all means, enjoy it. But if you don't, don't be afraid to start. Um, and it's never too late to start. We will have so much fun with these cards and that's it. I love you guys so very much. And I'm so very sorry that my first try of putting this video up had no voice. I don't know what happened. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.